proportion. Hello kids. Today, let's learn the concept of proportion. Let's look at an example. There are 100 coconut trees and 200 mango trees in Orchard A. There are 500 coconut trees and 1000 mango trees in Orchard B. Is the ratio of coconut trees to mango trees in both orchards the same? In Orchard A, the ratio of the coconut trees to mango trees is 100 is to 200, which is equal to 1 is to 2. In Orchard B, the ratio of the coconut trees to mango trees is 500 is to 1000, which is equal to 1 is to 2. Since both 100 is to 200 and 500 is to 1000 are equal to 1 is to 2, the ratio of coconut trees to mango trees in both the orchards is the same. Children, whenever two ratios are equal, they form a proportion. Here, in this example, we express these two ratios mathematically as follows. It is read as 100 is to 200 is as 500 is to 1000. In general, it is written as A is to B is as C is to D. A proportion has four terms. A and D are called the extremes or outer terms and B and C are called the means or middle terms. Now, let's see how to verify whether two sets of ratios are proportional. Let us take the ratios of the earlier example. There are two methods. Method 1. Step 1. Find the product of the extremes, which is 100 into 1000 is equal to 1 lakh. Step 2. Find the product of the means, that is 200 into 500 is equal to 1 lakh. Here, product of the extremes is equal to the product of the means. Therefore, the two ratios are in proportion. Method 2 It can also be verified by writing the ratios as fractions and cross multiplying them. Here we write 100 is to 200 is as 500 is to 1000 as 100 upon 200 is equal to 500 upon 1000. On cross multiplying, we get 100 into 1000 is equal to 1 lakh and 200 into 500 is equal to 1 lakh. Look, here the cross products are equal. Since the cross products are equal, the ratios form a proportion. Next, we will find the missing number using the concept of proportion. The ratio of green bikes to blue bikes in the parking space is 5 is to 7. If there are 49 blue bikes, then find the number of green bikes. To do this, we need to follow three simple steps. Step 1. Let the number of green bikes be x. Step 2. Write the given ratios. Therefore, green bikes upon blue bikes is equal to 5 upon 7, which is equal to x upon 
49. Step 3. Find the missing number by cross multiplying. Therefore, 7 into x is equal to 5 into 49. Therefore, x is equal to 245 upon 7. Therefore, x is equal to 35. Thus, there are 35 green bikes. Remember, 1, 2 equal ratios form a proportion. 2, in a proportion, product of the extremes is equal to the product of the means. Wasn't it fun learning proportion? This will be helpful in your day-to-day -day life as well.